And we're uh, here talking with our next guest about what I think is a very interesting topic. And to get into it, we're going to talk about new details on that shocking announcement from NBC yesterday. Today show host Matt Lauer fired over inappropriate sexual behavior at work. This morning he has released a statement and uh, we'll read it for you saying in part, there are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. The people I have hurt, I am truly sorry. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. Repairing the damage will take a lot of time and soul searching and I am committed to beginning that effort. An unnamed female employee told management about sexual misconduct that began at the 24th Winter Olympics and now Variety is reporting there were other incidents with more women at NBC and while this behavior is obviously inappropriate and uh, apparently there were some pictures and things that he sent and that's what made that's what page six is reporting today mm -hmm. from the uh, from the post there uh, there are some gray areas right when it comes to what's appropriate behavior at work it got us talking about mm -hmm. this yesterday in the afternoon meeting so joining us this morning is Jessica Post a labor and employment attorney at Fenimore Craig. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, you're welcome. So the things that, that some of these high profile uh, men are being accused of doing, obviously way over the line. That's right. But there are some areas that are closer to the line. We're saying, well, what can you do? You know, in terms of what can you, how, what kind of behavior can you have? So talk about overall, what are some of the tips you can give us about workplace behavior? Well, I mean, for starters, I do generally discourage romances in the workplace. I think that's taking a big risk for everybody involved. Try to steer clear of that. Mm -hmm. Occasionally that, does happen and if it does happen I always say that okay you need to it, I think you used the word common sense before I mean there is a common sense analysis to it I mean you have to listen to somebody's signals in terms of sexual harassment it, it's looked at subjectively and objectively so if the person is giving a signal that they're not interested then you have to listen to that signal and okay. if you go beyond you can have problems you want to hit the three specific things yeah let's let's specifically touch on hugging okay I mean, hugging can be looked at in a variety of different ways, depending on where it's done, what the circumstances are. Yes. But in general, I mean, can you give somebody a hug? Yes, you can give somebody a hug occasionally. I run into circumstances where somebody wants to give a hug every single day, mm. and that crosses the line into, oh. into sort of that weird category. Um, you know, I've come into circumstances where somebody will say to me, well, I'm a hugger. That's what I do. I'm a hugger. And I, I tell them, you, you can't be a hugger. Because not everybody right. is, not, right? not everybody's a hugger. You, you can't hug everybody at work. Occasionally, sure. Mm. Every day, absolutely not. Okay, so let's, let's go through this one. Uh, somebody walks in, and a male employee to a female employee. Man, I, I, that, you look great in that dress. Yes or no? That's okay. It is. But it is. You can tell somebody, and it's sort of how you say it. Like, you look in that dress. People like getting compliments. I like getting compliments. But if you say it every single day, then you've sort of crossed into... The, the, that's odd, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're, right. you're going, you're going overboard. Um, if you comment particularly, like I like how you look in that dress, then you started to make it a little more. You're looking at the person individually. That dress shows off your figure. That's right. Then you're, no. you, you've crossed the line. So I mean, mm -hmm. yes, you can give a compliment for sure. People like compliments, but you need to do it in a way that makes sense and doesn't sort of cross into that weird over the top awkward. category. Awkward. Yeah, okay, this one, meetings outside of work. Well, meetings outside of work, again, it's- Like a date, right? Yeah, so okay. let, is dating in the workplace encouraged? No, we don't encourage it. Um, do people sometimes go outside of the office to get together as a group? Sure, you know, that happens. But you do have to be careful because what happens outside the workplace does come back into the workplace. Um, it's just you can't keep something. So if something awkward happens outside of the workplace at a bar, for example, it's not like it didn't happen in the workplace. Oh, and so, yeah, because it, it, it still it affects that work environment. A lot of times when I'm dealing with sexual harassment cases, they absolutely overlap situation and conduct that's happening in the workplace with events that happened outside the workplace. Oh, wow. So you're, you're not safe just because it happens at O'Malley's bar down the street? You're not safe. Because of the relationship you share together at work, being that it might be a supervisor of yours or just a coworker in general, you've kind of blurred the lines and that's not always good. But that's right. I mean, you just can't undo, like if something awkward happens at a bar between two people and their coworkers, it, it's not like the next day at work. You hey, forget about, yeah, that's right. and you're back to business as usual. That's right. It, it, it carries over. And so, sure. you know, we all, we all work and have fun things that we do together outside of the office and I would never want to discourage that, but you do have to be careful when you're in environments with people from the workplace outside of work, anything that happens, it, it does come over into the workplace. So you still have to be professional and, and carry yourself sure. about in that manner. Mm -hmm. okay. Jessica, thank you so much really for coming good. in. That was really interesting information. Kinda, it seems like just kind of read the people around you. If you're getting yeah. a signal this is not, not wanted, stop what you're doing. That, that's right. Okay. You have to be able to read the situation.